In this video, I'm gonna break down the importance of time being a first time property developer running residential development projects, including five time killing tips to guarantee you rinse every dollar out of your next project. What's up guys, Peter Kelly here from Little Fish Property Developments, helping you maximize the value of your land and generate wealth through low risk development projects. On this channel, we share everything you need to deliver successful projects time and time again. So if that's something you're interested in, then hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Let's get into the video. Time management when running development projects is nothing new. It's essentially the ability to organize and plan the time spent on activities in a day. A direct result of good time management is increased effectiveness and productivity, which is a fancy way of saying you make more money. As a residential property developer, there's no question that time is enemy number one. If you aren't on top of your time, it's mind blowing how fast it can get away and how much money can be sucked out of a project. Poor time management has a snowballing effect. It's the smaller tasks that cost you a half a day here or a full day there and can start to stack up pretty quickly as those days start turning into weeks and weeks into months at a rate of knots. As the developer, you need to understand that it's you against the clock. The faster and cheaper you can finish a project without compromising its integrity, the more money you will make. It's not rocket science. Completing your project quicker means you see your money faster, which means you roll into your next project and then you repeat. Here are five tips that will have you killing your time as a first time property developer. Number one is schedule everything. At Little Fish, we schedule every single actionable task required to complete every project no matter how small or insignificant the task may be. As the developer, it's your job to know exactly what needs to be done and exactly when. You need to understand that every day has a dollar amount attached to it. So it's important to ensure no hours or days are wasted through to poor scheduling. So make sure you schedule out all of your tasks from the very beginning of the project and continue refining it all the way to the end. Number two is prioritizing your time. Prioritizing your time is going to become critical as you make your way through the project. As the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. So you're going to go through periods where it feels like everything's coming at you. This is fine. In fact, it's pretty standard in the developing game. The key here is to learn how to prioritize your time correctly and stay focused while methodically moving through the to-dos in an order of importance. Prioritization is all about identifying the most important tasks at any given moment and giving those tasks more of your attention, more of your energy, and of course, more of your time. It sounds simple, but I can assure you it's not. There are plenty of developers out there that think they have it sussed that are leaking time and money and they don't even know it. So be conscious of prioritization. It's something that deserves your respect. Number three, set reminders. I can't stress the importance of setting reminders enough. Doesn't matter how you do this, the key is to have some kind of reminder system in place that works for you. It happens all the time. As the property developer, you'll have things coming at you from all over the place that will distract you. So you need to make sure you have a fail safe system in place that reminds you at the exact time you need to be reminded to do whatever it is you need to do. Don't be one of those old heads that thinks you'll remember everything and nothing will slip through the net. It's just not realistic. At some point, something will slip through the net and that something will be costly. Once you set up your system, train yourself to use it and trust it. Believe me, you'll thank yourself. Number four, follow up the follow up. Most people tend to follow up. Definitely not everyone, but anyone worth their salt will generally follow up. Could be following up to see if something was completed, if something was delivered, scheduled, booked, whatever the case may be. But the most efficient and successful property developers, they take a step further and they follow up the follow-up. Use your reminder system to set up follow-up reminders. Then if it makes sense, set a reminder to follow up the follow-up. Sounds extreme, I know. But if you're into making as much money as possible from your developments, then these are the types of things that need to become part of your day-to-day. -day. The second follow-up is generally for confirmation. It's to confirm what was supposed to be done has actually been completed. Or someone that promises you something has in fact followed through on that promise, which is the perfect segue to point number five. Never assume anything. Assumptions can cost significant time and money, so it's critical you train yourself not to assume anything, especially making an assumption that something has has been completed or someone has done something they're supposed to do. It's a trap for a developer to trust in people that promise you things. It happens all the time. You followed up to confirm so you would be forgiven to have ticked that box and moved on. As a first time property developer, this is not how you want to roll. Your mindset should be trust no 
one and assume nothing. In most cases, whatever that was supposed to happen or get done may actually get completed, no issue. But I can assure you the 99th time out of 100th time is the time that something important that has a serious knock-on effect that was supposed to be done actually wasn't or isn't. It will bite you in the ass when you least expect it. So you need to train yourself to be disciplined enough to never assume anything, otherwise you'll be playing with fire expensive fire. So never assume anything ever. As per point number four, follow up and follow up again. Always get confirmation. As you start your journey as a first time developer, it's important you give due respect to the five time killing points I've shared with you today. If you are serious about knocking your next project out of the park and maximizing your profits, these five strategies are about working smarter, not harder. It only takes one small thing to slip through the net to negatively affect the outcome of your development project. Or it can be a collection of small things not hitting the mark on time that accumulate over the duration of your project that in the end cost you a lot of money. The worst part in this case is that you won't even realize that you've left money on the table. So if you're going to take the leap and start developing property, you want to make sure that you respect time and you leave no money on the table at the end. Kill your time, kill your project. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content as much as I've enjoyed sharing it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or any topics that you'd like me to cover, leave them down in the comments. I'm making these videos for you guys. So I wanna make sure I'm providing you the right content that provides you the most value. That's a wrap. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, happy developing.